hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna show you the new perfumes that were added to my collection so these were my purchases or swap uh, that i have done uh, since the beginning of june i have some more bottles coming in but it won't be here until end of the month or early next month so i guess i can do it now so um going forward i will be doing every whole video uh every month so i will do it end of the month for the whole of that month so the next haul will be for the month of july and the last week of june so as you can see i have partial bottles one two three four and five and i have four bottles still in the box so i'm gonna go to them one by one but i will take out the bottles from the boxes so it saves time okay guys we'll start so i have nine bottles in total and i'll start with the uh, three chippies first is the michael kors super gorgeous so first of all i love the bottle and the juice it's like an amber color and the bottle is super heavy not super heavy but there's quite a weight and also the lid is also heavy so it doesn't look cheap actually so super gorgeous is quite a new perfume this was launched in 2021 and its main notes are citrus in the top and mirror and some florals and dries down to an amber and tobacco scent so initial verse you will smell the citrus right away but for me the most prominent note is mirror mirror and then dries down to an amber amber scent and i don't detect any tobacco in here or if there is tobacco like very 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 minimal amount of tobacco only mirror and amber actually it resembles the one of my Jo Malone in the black bottle, the Jo Malone Mirror and Tonka. It smells similar to that, which is a good thing because this is super cheap. I bought this uh, clearance in Shoppers Drug Mart for $20 Canadian and compared it to Mirror and Tonka um, with the uh, Jo Malone. It's about $250 a bottle. So this is good. This is good. I haven't checked the performance yet. But this is good so far. This is a keeper for sure. So that's the first. Now another cheapy is the, the Michael Kors Michael. So this is a classic. This was launched way back in 2000. And I have this in the early 2010s. I think I have this since 2012 or 2014 and i even have one partial bottle like i have an old bottle from 2014 which is maybe 10 ml left and i'm preserving it because um the new formulation is changed it's not as heavy as the old formulation so this is basically a tuberous bomb this is a tuberous perfume if it, it is the kind of a vintage tuberous or florals and dries down musky so the dry down is musky but it's tuberous tuberous heavy perfume i compared it with my original bottle and this one is uh, lighter than the original but it's still very heavy in tuberous the performance here because i can comment on the performance because i had this for a while so the performance is very good this will last you six to eight hours especially the old formulation it's very heavy it's very vintagey the smell is very vintagey but i'm so glad i have uh, a new a new bottle and aside from this i also have another one as a backup because i love this perfume then the third one will be the ck the eternity intense so i don't like the original uh, eternity because it smells um, generic but this is uh this is different the smell is uh unique this is mostly a, a lipstick 
perfume, iris lipsticky perfume or makeup -y perfume. This was launched in 2016 and this is already discontinued. So in the initial blast, in the first one minute, I don't like it. It smells very plasticky and synthetic. But you have to wait. Wait on, for about 2 minutes to 5 minutes. And then you will smell the beauty of the iris and the violets and the, and the lipstick uh, and the makeup smell. So this is similar to replica lipstick on and other lipstick perfume. But this is lighter because i consider the lipstick on by replica as very strong very strong lipstick smell this is lighter than that uh, but but it's good i like this it's very unique it has depth compared to the other uh, eternity eternity flankers so if you want some some cheapy that smells like lipstick go grab it though this is already discontinued it's gonna be hard to find but you can still find it somewhere i found this in marketplace for 50 dollars for 50 ml which is quite a lot for an eternity perfume but uh, because it's discontinued and it's very hard to find maybe that's why she priced it as 50 dollars for a 50 ml bottle so the next one is this the hot couture edt not the edp so this is a, a swap i swapped this with a versace bright crystal i don't like the the bright crystal range so i swap it with the with the edt the pink one i swap it with this so this is a, a strawberry perfume this is also um oldie but a goodie this was launched also in 2000 so some people it, they consider this as their high school scent but for me no i haven't used it this is the first time i will have this bottle and this is a strawberry and raspberry perfume and it dries down to a musky and smoky scent actually it's actually smell like a, a smoke a tobacco though it doesn't have in the note i remember one of my favorite uh, youtubers mentioned that she, uh, she likes this perfume because it smells like when you go to the club and then people are smoking around you and then later on when you go home your clothes also smell smoke so this is it it smells like that i don't i don't know if i like this I might not keep this I might sell it or I might uh, swap it because I don't like that smoke smell though I like the strawberry I like the the top and the middle notes but I don't like the dry down of the smoke so I have to think about this and then we have the the Kayali pink diamond pepper so this is uh, one of my Kayalis, I, I have the invite only the amber i have that in 100 ml and that's my favorite so far and i have the mini of the of the vanilla 28 and elixir and deja vu uh white flowers i like the deja vu white flowers and the moss i don't like the vanilla i i can i it's too light for me so i'm not gonna buy a, a big bottle but i will buy for sure i'm go i'm gonna look for the El elixir the, uh, the mass and uh, the jabu white flowers and but this one is a 50 ml i also swapped this with another bright crystal the brand new one the absolute i swap it with my friend and this is um uh, this was launched in uh, 2021 and this is like from the word pink pepper it has pink pepper saffron but it's predominantly a rose and vanilla perfume it's the same dna as roses bunny intense cafe and those kind of perfumes it's considered as an oriental it's very strong i like it it's very pleasant if you like those kind of scent the roses bunny intense cafe you will like this too the only difference is this is not too heavy in rose i can smell mostly uh, vanilla with added uh, pink pepper and saffron so it's in the same dna but it's not like actually is 100 similar 
So it's just the same in the same uh, in the same category of rose and vanilla perfume. Um, I heard that the uh, that the uh, most of Kayali is doesn't perform well, especially the vanilla twenty eight. But my big bottle, the invite only, um, the, is last long because the notes there are boozy notes and it has cherries. I really really love that. I have used it uh, quite a lot and it can last eight hours on my skin and it will last all day. But this one, the pink pepper, I haven't really uh, tested it uh, the, regarding the longevity. So we'll follow up on that. No, the the next one will be the Aqua di Parma, the Rosa Nobila, Nobile. So they have three in this range. So this, the small bottle, the shape of the bottle like this is considered as an EDP. This is 100 ml. It has three three of them, the Rosa Nobile, they have the Peony Nobile, and then we have the Magnolia Nobile. So the ro uh, the Magnolia and the Peony, I have a uh, scent bird of that. So I have the 8ML, and I have used uh, both of them. But the Rosa, I have also a Deacon. And all the three for me is a full bottle worthy. And I'm so glad that I found this in Marketplace two weeks ago for a very good price. Now I still have to look about, uh, I still have to look for the Magnolia and the Peony Nobile. So uh, this is a very, very nice perfume. And this was launched in 2014. It has a uh, citrus in the opening. And then the mid the mid notes is mostly a rose and some florals but this is i consider this as a not a red rose it's like a pink rose a girly rose it's not um a strong rose like like the jo Malone red roses it's not green it's a it's a fresh rose and it also dries down to a um, musky musky scent and it has ambergris so the ambergris also gives it like a watery and a little bit salty note but it's predominantly a rose perfume i like it i really like it the only thing is this uh, performance is not that good and for the price because you can buy you can buy it and in the retailer for almost two hundred dollars this is an expensive perfume and it should equate with a good performance but it's not it's usually last three to four hours only on on me and i heard worse stories like i i read from programmatica some people even last it for 30 minutes or one hour but for me it lasts for about three to four hours because i, I tend to over spray 10 to 12 sprays and it will last me about three or four hours but this is a really nice perfume good perfume very girly very light good for summer then i have another gucci bloom i have the original so the original is a tuberous uh, perfume it's a uh, very heavy in tuberous and, and jasmine and other florals and uh, it is uh, kind of vintagey but this one is a uh, it's a green green florals uh, to my skin and to my nose so this was uh, uh, just launched in 2018 so the top notes is galbanum deep and cassis so galbanum and cassis are very green and the, the mid notes you smell some florals of course the tuberose is still there and the jasmine and it dries down to a musky and sandalwood so it has isoe super so i know that you use that as an uh to make the perfume last so but i haven't really tested the longevity of this perfume but it's too green it's too green i don't know if i like it probably i'll keep it because i have the original gucci and then i have another gucci bloom coming so i will have three of that ready in the line but so far i'm not a fan of this it's too green for me it's it's too green 
next another partial bottle that i swapped so this one i bought this at shoppers i think it was on sale so that's what i i bought it now i got one another partial bottle it's about half full maybe 25 out of 50 ml i swapped this with my uh annie nishani annie i have two nishani annie because i love i also love that perfume so i swapped one of my annie with this so this is the uh, nishani 100 silent ways and this was uh, launched in 2016 and the uh, main notes that i can smell are tuberose peach and vanilla i really love this perfume i consider this as a gourmand because it's so sweet i can smell the peach and the vanilla and it reminds me of black opium it smells like black opium without the coffee well in black opium the coffee is not strong anyway so remove the coffee and then you smell black opium it's so good i love this perfume this this uh, i have this already this is and uh, this is my second bottle and the performance is good uh, i think all nishani performance are good it lasts me more than eight hours but this is not as bismode as the ani but this is like closer to the skin but it lasts all day it lasts more than eight hours it's so good okay so now let's save the best for last and this is the original dior addict i am so lucky guys i found this in one of my uh, shoppers drug mart here so the the lady was so nice she's my friend and i think she is also a subscriber and i went to her and i told her that um i want to use my points and i asked her do you have any uh, like clearance or markdowns and she looked under her drawer and she found this oh my god i'm so happy so this is the original formulation dior addict was was launched in uh 20 no, not 20 2002 and when i look at the patch code this bottle is from 2005 this was in 2005 and the top notes of the their original dior addict is blackberry and mandarin leaf so it's kind of um, green and berry in the top and then the middle notes are mostly florals i think you have tuberose there and jasmine orange blossom and then the the base notes are vanilla tonka bean and sandalwood so i spray this and it has been stored pretty well under the drawer for 17 years and it was so good i can smell the blackberry and the mandarin lip initial blast then the florals after and then it dries down to a very strong vanilla perfume i'm sniffing it right now in the paper and my eyes are rolling it's so good i have the I have two other Dior Addict. One of them is uh, batch 2017. It is like not this smell. It's watered down. It's watered down. And then another one I have, I think batch uh, 2019. I forgot to uh, bring it to you guys to show you, but I have two other Dior Addict. But this that doesn't come close to this original one. It's so good if if uh if you can find the original formulation of your addict uh, grab it because first of all it's so strong it's like triple or quadruple the strength of the origin the uh, current formulation it, and the longevity is good it will last you all day and i think the notes are also different i forgot to check but i think the notes are different I think the notes are different from the, the 2002 formulation to the I think there's three formulation the the later the vintage one is 2002 formulation and then 2012 they changed another formulation and then the latest one is I think 2017 or oh, I think I'm I'm mistaken sorry 
that is for Miss Jor. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know the change of formulation in in your attic. I think it's 2014. Sorry guys. Sorry guys. I'm confused. Miss Jor is 2012 and 2017. Your attic is 2014 when they changed the formulation. Sorry about that. Okay. So that's it for now guys. So these are the new perfumes added to my collection since the beginning of June and as i said i'll be doing this every end of the month like my new haul and i will also um video or film my declutter just in case i will have a declutter so thank you guys for watching and hope you will help me by subscribing and by liking this video and sharing this i'll see you on my next one Bye bye